from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, Kiwis are waking up to a new Prime Minister. Chris Luxon last night beat out Labour's Chris Hipkins for the top job, according to preliminary election results. He says Kiwis have voted for change and National will be welcoming many new MPs into its caucus on Monday. Luxon says they're going to work 24-7 to turn things around and he paid tribute to his team. All of our caucus and candidates for their relentless campaigning over the past six weeks. You have given it your all and we have splashed blue across the country. Thank you. With 100% of the vote now counted, excluding special votes, National is on 38.95% and Act on 8.9%, giving them a likely 61 seats. New Zealand First is on 6.46%, a potential 8 MPs. Labour scored 26.9% for 34 seats, and with 10.77%, the Greens will get 14 MPs. Final official results will be declared on November 3. Hundreds of thousands of Palestinians are evacuating from North Gaza after a short-notice warning from Israel. More than 2,200 have been killed in Gaza and almost 9,000 wounded. The BBC's Rushdi Abba Aluf is in Gaza. Water is running out in the hospital here. Medicine is running out. They are, to, they are trying to manage very little fuel, doctors told me, are left to run the generators. Australian voters have overwhelmingly voted no on establishing an Indigenous advisory panel. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says he regrets the outcome, but not holding the referendum. That we take forward an idea that had been decades in the making and we would give the Australian people the opportunity to decide for themselves. We have kept that promise. And that's news. I'm Donna Marie Lever. In sport, Argentina has upset Wales 29-17 in Marseille to become the first nation through to the Rugby World Cup semi-finals in France. A late intercept try confirmed the Pumas win and head coach Michael Chica is stoked his team hung tough for the entire match. We're just thrilled to be going to Paris. We haven't had a taste of it yet in this World Cup. I know that we'll be heavily uh, not favoured for that game, obviously, but um, we'll be giving it our best. And Argentina will play the winner of today's second quarterfinal between Ireland and the All Blacks. There's been some light showers in Paris, but conditions should be fine for kickoff in an hour. Hawks Bay have made their maiden NPC rugby final, pipping Wellington 25-24 in their semi-final. And New Zealand has had a lukewarm return to sail GP action in Spain, finishing fourth, fifth and eighth in day one's three races to finish sixth at the end of the day. And that's sport. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.